Welcome. We are here at Jake's humble abode, uh, aka his garage, aka his photography studio. Today is the second challenge. It's good to be doing this again. Oh yes. <laughs> He's in my house now. <laughs> we'll be doing some portraits of our buddy Jonathan right here. I have never shot strobe lighting before in the studio, so I have gotten no help, no hints, no tips or tricks. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. I guess I might as well start setting up. Did you have anything? Did you want to give me any assistance, any uh, advice? Any Absolutely advi not. You're getting nothing. Good luck, sir. All right, man. Round one, fight. You already know, huh? I forgot the hot shoe holder at the house. <laughs> so either number one, I'm going to do ambient lighting with Portrait 800, or we shoot on the Hasi, and I think that uh, I'm gonna have to shoot on the Hasi for this. Pretty disappointing because, you know, I wanted to use my baby. You live and you learn. Like I said, he in my house now. <laughs> Just out of that, yes, one life. All right. You can hear the confidence in his voice right now. I think I'm going to start it off at eight. So I have set up the pro photo strobe light with the umbrella. I see a lot of people set it up like this, so I felt comfortable and I felt that this was the correct way to go. I'm flying in the talent. Talent flying in. No one look him in the eyes. This is my client, Jonathan Morgan Tite. He's here today for what I presume is a photo op. We haven't actually been told though, but in his rider oh, no, 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 is no, no, a no. pack of guns. This is the damn photo op because he's giving me no help right now made me set up my own stuff. So this is a photo, this wow. is a real versus this is a battle. Real photo this is a real photo I'm ready to step in at model, at model, as model, at any given moment. All right, yes, I got it. Uh, so right now I'm testing the light. I will say, I felt very comfortable man, with your, your direction. Thank you, thank you. That you part know. was great. You gotta act like you know what you're doing. All right, that was the first shot. All right. It's going good. Just getting used to it. I wish I brought miso soup with me. You use that thing though? Whatever that is, what's that? What's that called? Magnum. Okay, I'm gonna use the Magnum. All right. And then, it's important stuff going on right now. I watch Tyler do a lot of work in his studio and um, all the information that I've learned has just been thrown out the window and into a garbage can in Minnesota somewhere. So. Would you like me to be your assistant? Uh, no, thank you. Okay. Yeah, you can sit back. Okay. okay. I was offering my help and you just like no, totally, yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> all right, eyes closed. Uh, can I get one with your, your, right, yeah, yeah, your right, leaning down, yeah, yeah. Uh. Time out, I can't let you do this to yourself. I can't, I have to step in now. The light's pointed down, Mike. The light is pointed down. You, you gotta point the light up. <laughs> oh, it's, the fucking light's just gonna shoot right there. And the, and the best part is, you would meet her and it would expose something so that you'd be fully fooled. You gotta point it the other way. You're totally nullifying the umbrella. If it was on digital, I would have let him make the mistake, but we, I'm not gonna let this poor man waste his film. Jake's having a field day right now. He has a camera. Alright, uh, can you press test for me? Yes, sir. Um, and now... Side note, last video, she had on these lovely shoes and I forgot to take a picture of her entire outfit, so I'm gonna do it right now, see what happens. They're the shoes of the moment. Flying in with a trusty light meter one more time. You can never light meter too much. Yeah. He's killing it. <laughs> I I love the you know laid back 
low vibe he's got going on. <laughs> We're just grooving. All right, man, it's your turn. All right, let's do it. I simply didn't know what the hell I was doing. So, um... I just had to improv and I just had to do what felt right. I was more so worried about the strobe than I was my model. So I wasn't really able to get great ideas as far as poses and things of that sort because I was too worried about not screwing up the strobe. So I think I blew it. It's just not reading the sensor. Hold on. I need to turn it off. I'm like a mechanic. Literally. For these things. Photo challenges. There you go. There we go. We're good. Mechanic out. Round two. Fight! I'm so confident right now. Let's go. Alright, Johnny. Oh, he kept the light on. He set me up for failure, man. I did not set you up for failure. Jake needed a comeback story after last week's episode where things were awry for him. This is gonna be fun. He has the model lamp on. He um, raised up the backdrop. He has Johnny perfectly lit. He is using his light meter, currently moving the light back. So he seems that, to be familiar with this terrain. He knows his, his area, he knows his territory. He's marking it right now. It's going well. It's going a little, little better than, than Mike's shoot, you know? Although <laughs> Jake feels a little more prepared, but I, I think Mike's, Mike's comment about the terrain is definitely an interesting one because I mean, I don't even know where the light switch is in this room, and neither does Mike, but Jake, Jake does. Now his hand is awfully close to me. What? I helped Mike on one. Okay. So if you need help, I'm every, everybody gets one. <laughs> You're talking shit about me? Is that, is that what's going on? This way or that way? Kind of similar to what I did. Oh, you, he took half my like modeling shot anyway. It's pretty so, familiar. Like, it seems shirt. pretty familiar. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> you know. When you do studio work too, you start to notice the smallest little details ever. Yeah, and that's and that's something that every I need little, to pay attention to. Every little to thing yeah. is like nitpick, especially girl's hair, you need a comb sometimes because you see with the hustle, the hustle blog, you literally see everything. Oh, awesome. You're taking your job. It's going well. Let's you know, the wall now. I'm going to the wall now. Here you go, please. Finish him! Fatality! How do you feel? Feel good. That's all you have to say? Yeah. <laughs> That's it? He said, he said, I'll let the picture speak for me. Would you like to reshoot? No. Okay. No, it is what it is, man. Fair and square. Okay. Flawless victory. That was a crazy experience for me. Learned a lot, but I respect you, man, because Thank you. this isn't easy. No, it's not. And, um, you know, I appreciate the help that I got because if I wouldn't have gotten that, my strobe light would have been facing down the entire shoot and I wouldn't have gotten anything or potentially gotten anything. So I appreciate Tyler for uh, looking out and helping me on that. Yeah, I mean, I also had help from Tyler as well from the very beginning. So, guys, it was my pleasure. I love you both, I'm proud of you both. Mike, you did a great job. Jake, you crushed it. I can't wait to see the photos. Very fun challenge, man. As y'all saw, it was supposed to be the Hasselblad H5D versus the Mamiya RB67, but I forgot to bring my adapter, so I wasn't able to use it. As y'all saw in the last video, I rocked with the H5D. I just would have preferred the 6.7 uh, format as opposed to the 6.45, but it was fun shooting that. Being my first time, I mean, the fact that I was able to see images was beneficial to me because I legit wasn't expecting to get any images back, maybe one or two. Um, but for the most part, the majority weren't my favorite. I know that I shot Portrait 400, but when I pulled out the Magnum, I remember seeing Jake in the past using it 
and that thing just adds a great shadow to your face when you set it up a certain way. So I was hoping that I would get that same effect, which I did, but it didn't look as good on color. I know there's a stigma. Oh, you, you shot on color, so you, you, you can't switch to black and white. You need to use black and white film. And I get that because when you shoot black and white film, there's a feel and a vibe that you can't compare, that you damn near can't translate on color film. But when there's a color photo that I think would really kill black and white, I just make it black and white. You're an artist, do as you please. There's no rules to this. So that's what I did. And that's literally my favorite photo of the shoot. I mean, other than that, I mean, some pretty decent ones but you know for my first time i think it was cool i think it was fun <laughs> i really would have been out of luck because i had no clue that that strobe was facing down i feel like this video was so much fun man jake of course killed it please man like the video if you rocking with it subscribe to the channel if you've been digging the videos i've been dropping man please it's only gonna get better i appreciate y'all and i'll see y'all next week man this is a 488 Spider, tops Easy. out at 210 miles per hour. Did the Nuremberg ring in 4.9 minutes, I believe. And uh, I could probably do a 720 in one of these if I pulled it out right now. So, let's go.